this is what we've been working up to for quite some while and this video actually represents about 17 days where we were working on it not full days necessarily in all cases but this is day one we've got the retaining walls down and we're making a start on digging into this bank from ground level so of course to start off with we do a little bit of digging and we find all this stone coming out so there we are with the wheelbarrow picking up the stone soon realized the wheelbarrow wasn't really going to cut it so to save the hands we started loading the stone into the dumper using the digger and picking out the bits of root we're always picking out bits of root and trying to keep our material separate probably excessively so that's probably due to inexperience on our part we don't know how contaminated um, inert material can be if it's we're paying someone to take it away we also don't know exactly what we might use it for ourselves and so we we want it to be properly inert material if that's what we're going to use it for I think in some of the earlier videos we have used in some cases we've used topsoil where we should have been using subsoil on the ramp that we've been building now Paul is just going back here and something bad is about to happen but we don't know it yet so um, on this second load here probably goes slow motion over the drain and you see the dumper goes like, into it so we can have a look what we're going to do well we put a bucket over it so we don't drive into it now it wasn't designed for that much weight so we dug out a little notch we've got the stone out of it now we're digging the soil now we're back to raking the raw material out sorting the sand out the stones out from the sand by hand there they are rocks and hands and the hands are coming off worse than the rocks nice sandstone it's a good quality product for building walls and in our case probably using it for gabions has tr trimming back the the edge As you can see, this uh, material is quite hard to dig on. So that's working in our favour because it means that when we dig this uh, notch, um, it will be stable and we won't um, have to worry about it being dangerous. Although, of course, these stones are heavy enough to hurt us if they just even one single stone fell out of this bank. So we're checking and rechecking that that's not going to happen. I decided that uh, building a ramp here would help us, and I, th I think it does generally because if you can get the the um, digger up higher than where you're working, it gives you a better angle to see what you're doing, and it also gives you something to pull material up to, which is a much faster way of loading a bucket. So a good good degree of fullness but obviously that involves if I've got to drive up here um, pulling the material nice and even and grading it a bit so it's safe this is the second day so these these um, videos get a bit shorter and because there's less to say really about digging out a hole we're just trimming the side, making sure it's uh, it's as stable as it can be, and uh, we're not quite sure what angle we're going to finish up at. And in fact, we we start off with it at a very almost vertical angle, and um, and then when we finally finished, we um, pull it back at a, a more sloping angle, um, 
we know it'll hold vertically so if we then slope it it makes it even more stable we can load a lot of stone actually by hand if that's all we're doing all day but it is hard work Stones out. Off go the stones. In fact, it looks like it's the end of the day. Well, wet day. We had a few days where we couldn't work. This, this is the fourth day. Loading this soil out. Looks a bit wet actually, sort of moved slowly. And we tipped it behind our site toilet. Well, not all of it. We tipped a good bit there though, because um, we want to build up the shape of that bank. More soil. More soil more soil and now guess what more soil and more soil and that's the end of that day